back to my channel my name is Natalia and in today's marketing Monday video we are going to be doing a follow-up to a series that I started about a month ago so in the series I'm gonna be talking about everything interview related in the first video I talked about six ways to prep for your interview and if you guys haven't checked that one out yet I would highly recommend watching that one before watching this one so I'm gonna leave a card up above so you guys can check that one out before watching this one if you guys are already caught up on that one and want to jump straight into this one we're gonna be talking about how to answer Answer the top interview questions and the do's and don'ts of doing so so before getting started if you guys have not subscribed to my channel and you guys like marketing tips lifestyle vlogs that's the sort of content I have here on my channel so if you guys like that sort of stuff go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down in the comments box because I respond to every single question or comment in the comments so let's jump into this video and get started so the way that I'm going to set up this video is I'm going to be asking the question as if I was the interviewer and then give some tips on the do's of answering the question and then some tips on the don'ts of answering these questions. So my first question is where do you see yourself in five years? And that question is asked in literally every single interview that I have ever been to and that's not just in like my marketing interviews I'm talking retail you know this the food service industry that's just like a fan favorite amongst interviewers. So the way that I would answer this question would be within the next five years, I would like to become trained up and acclimated to my position as best as possible. I would also love to build the best team bond so that way I fit right into the culture. And then I would also bring up if there's any opportunities that arise, I would love to take those opportunities and grow within the company. So yes, that is a very good textbook answer. Employers want to hear that you want to stay within the company. They want to hear that you're ambitious, but you know, you don't want to move too fast. And they also want to know that you want to become as great as possible in your position as you can. What interviewers don't want to hear is that you want to leave their company as soon as possible. You know, they want to look for someone who's going to be at their company and stay at their company for as long as they can. And they don't want to hear that you want to be trained up within a year, get all the experience you can from them, and then just dip. So I would definitely not say that. I would definitely say if you are looking to move up, that you want to move up within their company. And another tip that I definitely suggest is do not say that you want to be in an interviewer's position. If they ask you where, they, where you want to be in five years, do not say in your position because that just comes off very arrogant and I understand if you're trying to be ambitious, if you're trying to show that you want to grow, but that's not the right way to do it. So the next question is that generic tell me about yourself question and this can always be tricky especially when you're trying to gauge the room and see whether they're more laid back or they're just strictly professional but if you ever have that doubt in your mind remember they're always going to want to hear the professional side of things so the best way to answer this question is to bring up the skills and things that you bring to the table and experience that you bring to the table that are directly related to that role. So I would talk about past job experiences. If you're just out of college, I would talk about your college education, internships that you've done that are directly related to this position that you're applying to, or talk about um, how you are a learner and you want to keep learning through this role. So I would only bring up really any professional things. Some other things that I would do definitely is when you're explaining yourself and explaining your personality, I would incorporate words such as dynamic, self-motivated, and enthusiastic. Employers love to hear those keywords, so if you can throw that in there, I would definitely give it a try. Some things that I would not do is start talking about what you like to do on the weekends, your favorite shows, just that sort of stuff. Employers will definitely have time to talk about that stuff if you get hired, but the interview is really to figure out why you're a great person for this position. So I would definitely leave out that other stuff and keep it strictly professional. Even if the room seems like a layback position because you don't want to leave that room and have them still wondering why you would be a good candidate for that position. Third question is why do you want to work for our company? The best way to answer this question is to show that you appreciate the company and what they've done you know you definitely want to put some research into this question 
prior to having the interview and say that you've been doing some research on their company and that you really appreciate how they do XYZ. If they have awards, talk about the awards that the company has gotten and that you know you want to work for a company that is able to achieve all these things. You know, just, this is the time to sort of like hype them up a little bit and really say that it's a great company that aligns with the goals and missions that you value and that's something that they value too. So that's just a really good way to answer that question and you know, you don't really get off topic that much in that question. Something that I definitely would not do when answering this question is say things like, because I need a job, because I need money. <laughs> You know, those are all very self-centered questions. It's not a question to talk about yourself. It's a question to really recognize why you specifically want to work for that company. So definitely try to keep the focus more on the company in that question rather than yourself. The fourth question is, what are your salary expectations? Now this one can always be a difficult question to answer because knowing how I am, at least for me, I always get really worried that I'm going to ask for too much and they're immediately going to be turned off by it and just be like, okay, no, um, I'd rather just go with someone who is willing to work for cheaper. But that is so not the case. You have to value yourself and your work higher. So a way to approach this question would be to give a range. Ranges are always safe and I would always start with the high end because you never want to lowball yourself either. So I would go something along the lines of reiterating why you deserve the compensation that you're asking for. So I would say with my experience and skills that I'm bringing to the table, I feel that 45 to $50,000 annually is um, the compensation that I'm seeking. That right there is a perfect answer to that question because one, you're talking about what you're bringing to the table and why you deserve that compensation. Two, you're giving a range. And you know, it's not very demanding. So those are all points that you really want to hit when you're answering that question. And you also want to make sure, especially if they're talking more about salary, to negotiate and always start off sort of high. Like I said, I always get nervous asking for a higher number. So don't be afraid. Employers, if they really want you, are definitely willing to negotiate and they will definitely hire you if they have it within the budget. Now, some things that you don't want to do is give yourself a super high number that is just not even within the realms of what your position gets paid for. You have to look at certain aspects such as your experience, the location that you're applying in, and the company that you're applying in. Every company has a budget for what they're willing to spend on a certain employee. So if you know that that certain area and that certain company is not going to have the budget that you're asking for and you're not willing to budge then I would definitely be more flexible in that scenario. So that was some tips on the do's and don'ts on how to answer those tough generic questions that most employers and interviewers are gonna ask. I hope this helped and if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and like I said, I will definitely respond to those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye.